Science. After eight months inside a cramped steel capsule, astronauts from the Mars 500 project touched down in a virtual landing on the Red Planet. The simulated landing and spacewalk was the highlight and halfway point in an ambitious isolation exercise. Six astronauts from Russia, China and Europe blasted off in June last year. The whole Mars 500 experiment is of high importance because it's the first, for the first time a full-fledged uh, duration of a mission uh, to Mars. It will give a lot of really scientific insight into the human evolution you know, on, during such a mission from a health point of view, but also from a psychological point of view, and both are, aspects are often closely linked together. The men were sealed inside the pretend spaceship, actually a series of interconnected modules at a research center in Moscow. It measures just 160 square meters. Throughout the mission, the astronauts give blood, urine and other samples for scientists to analyze. They have a cabin each and a gym, books, DVDs and computer games. They have been traveling for eight months to get, to get there. In my case, it was just a couple of days. But um, that's a real challenge. You have to be very careful and it's a lot of preparation. Uh, and I'm sure it's also exciting. I'm sure they're very excited that they're now what they're doing. The return trip is expected to be more psychologically grueling with the excitement of a landing behind them. There's no prospect of a genuine mission to Mars yet. The technical hurdles of building a rocket capable of reaching Mars while protecting its crew from the intense radiation of space are huge. <laughs>